if I have to.
Look at you! Welcome. Thank you very much. What would you like Welcome to do? Welcome to our shop. I'm here if you need me. What would you like to do? Feel free to stop by any time. There's something I can help you with. Ah, it's you. Bye now.
Increased readings on the profound darkness in the nefarious skies.
Emergency off announcement. We have commenced an operation to eradicate the profound darkness. All ARCs ops, report to the quest counter ASAP and join the mission.
Hi there. I'm counting on you.
to me. <laughs> I got a good look at it. Good look at it. <laughs> I got a good look at it. <laughs> Take care now. <laughs> what do you need? soon.
What would you like to do? Feel free to stop by anytime. What would you like to do? Feel free to stop by any time. Is something I can help you with? Which quest are you up for? Which quest?
emergency. Ears open. Emergency! Code! Due! Target enemy reading has vanished! Please 
completed.
Don't let me down now.
emergency. Here's over.
there's something I can help you. What would you like to do? Feel free to stop by any time. What do you require? Leave it to me. <laughs> I got a good look at what it. What do you require? <laughs> what do you need? Queen Mar the Guardian and Harriet set off for the western land of Epic. Nowhere in the border fortress, in any villages, were they they feet evac the people that a strike problem. Their parents were Mr. T. So this freak. It's a 
row gather the lens a chair see why exactly our ancestors settled here to form a place for strict religious practice and as people gathered towns formed the de and who's queen ma Somehow I get the feeling you and Grace too well acquainted. I see no sign. Why would we absolutely is Richard? Hints of words. True. Or less mana. But sure it's not. Ha! Be proud? Who will? Enjoy to meeple. Ground. Baron. Poor epic. See. to I conduct my then my duty and drive the one unto you for you sin and be clean there to see the man it's out of and good at every else. This air good their country. Silence, fairy! Rock, you, you agree? <laughs> Thank you. But what was that? Where did it And supernaturals are popping up a lot. Can't. Folk ought to know more about it than me. Just whipping up one with around hardly seems lay. Indeed. We have no Quento either. Astro. He just. Sponge. However, those. Fall. How dare they treat them? Thing. Problem. Don't you know? And a reclaimed. Right. Not some high and mighty one who's mighty. Important job. Remember that, Queen of Quentus. How they going to acting like Maggie?
sudden, it appeared overrun with castrum de conj the livelihoods that continued to reap. They deep the divine land. Div their target, the four being fortresses in the north, east, as fortress, a might, the guard, unwelcome meeting, lying yet in store. So the guardian appears at last. Wow is right. Speechless in the face of my overwhelming might, I see. Actually, I think we're just completely baffled. There's no need to fear, guardian. Rather, you should join me. I would welcome you. Miss Matoy has spoken at length of your skill. To a frankly tiresome degree of Wait! What's going on? How come this Ika is mixing things about Oracle into the conversation? Ika's aura is still there, but there's also a Dark Falls-like presence. Whoever this person is and wherever she comes from, she's most certainly under the influence of Ephemera. Don't be hoodwinked by her words. It seems our negotiations have failed. A pity. If I can't have your allegiance, I suppose I'll have your life. Enough prattling, usurper! You think I'll let you get away with running roughshod over the divine land of Epic? Uh, a little heavy on the theatrics there, Maggie. <laughs> Come on! Haven't you always wanted to act just once like you're in a real epic tale? You, so-called ruler of this land. Why would the one who conjured us here now stand on the opposing side? Is this behavior not what you wanted when you summoned us, the apprentice emissaries? What I want is for the Guardian to flatten you so badly, you'll have to be scraped from the floors of this fortress! Hang on! Let's not breeze by that very important point. Are they here to grant your wishes, Maggie? Ugh. Look, I'll explain everything later. But if we don't take her out right now, we won't have a later. Then try your hand against the apprentice emissary, Aika. The misunderstood. You want us to call you that? It was not my choice. But it will do. Go forth, servant. Show them your true form. Disappointed me, Guardian. You're even more powerful than Miss Matoy said so many, so very many times. But alas for you, I am but a false vessel, nothing next to my fellow emissaries. The brighter a light burns, the deeper the shadow it casts. In the end, you may wish you had fallen here. Your 
breath. No matter what vicious villains you cast our way, I will never abandon my country. Now, my companions, let's move on to the next foe for the freedom of Epic! <laughs> I think you said something about an explanation, Maggie? Well, hear me out. We've all heard those stories where a really cool queen frees her country from awful villains and saves the day, haven't we? I thought it'd be nice to create this grand tale of me and the Guardian saving Epic! Our god always gets credit for solving everything! <laughs> so I was told, why not conjure up the Guardian and make it all happen? It sounded like a pretty neat idea. You were told? By whom? This priest who gave me a lot of good advice. But the second these four villains appeared, he up and ran away! Who's ready to forget this and leave? No! We can't simply abandon Epic! Whatever the cause, Ephemera's influence clearly plagues this land. And how could we leave the people to such a dire fate? You're right. And I... deeply regret what I've done. Deeply and painfully. I thought having a legend or hero would help cheer up my people. But what good are legends when your dinner plate is empty? What a fool I was to even think that way. Shameful, I admit it. So please, help me fix it. I'm begging you. Please stand up straight, Lady Margareta. I understand how you feel all too well. Your only mistake was the way you went about your goal. And when you make a mistake, all you can do is try to fix it. Wouldn't you agree, Guardian? You're right. We can't really turn our backs when the profound darkness is involved. And Maggie seems genuinely sorry. It's a little late and deeply ironic for you to say that. But with this pair of softies in charge, I suppose that's bad. I'm told I gave you two a great deal of trouble. My apologies. Oh, don't worry about it. You got dragged into it unwillingly in the first place. Are you okay? I have undergone a medical checkup and received a clean bill of health. I just have this lingering feeling of having been trapped in a long nightmare. Kyu, kyu, kyu. The shame I felt over what happened in that dream makes me relieved to not remember what actually happened. And if I did remember, I wouldn't want to discuss it, much less ever experience it again. You know what? For 
Forgetting all about it sounds great! You didn't do anything wrong! Wait, how much do you two know about what happened? <laughs> why? Why does that sound so familiar? And why does my face flush just from hearing it? Shuddering to see a friend brought so low. The Guardian defeated Ica the Misunderstood, the first of the Apprentice Emissaries. With this accomplished, the journey continued. The party forged on to the Northern Fortress and its waiting emissary, routing Castrum Demonicas along the way. But despite the success, their footsteps fell heavily. More than even the might of the foes awaiting them, they dreaded the sight of another friend, reduced to a dark vessel. They were no strangers to war and bloodshed, but no blade is as heavy as one raised against a friend. No, I'm just putting a foot up there, friends. I Look who's here. Guess this means Ika's already fallen. <laughs> well, congratulations on defeating the weakest of the four of us. I'm afraid you'll find me a notcher too stronger than she was, to say the very least. Are you ready for a real fight this time? Now, take a good look at your tomb, and at me, your undertaker. The Apprentice Emissary, Rena the Forsaken! Yes! Now this 
This is what I'm talking about! These crackling confrontations! A bit cliché, maybe, but they make your heart pound! Well, I found a visual match. That's definitely Rina Izumi. The Earthling Inga said went missing. But I just can't believe she's anywhere near this dumb in real life. This has to be Maggie's fault. Go on! Flaunt your strength all you like! But that strength is crippled by your arrogance! What? Real strength lies in the bonds between friends! Your defeat was written from the moment you decided to face us all on your lonesome! What makes you so sure I'm by myself? Do you think I lack companions? Well, you're dead wrong! Ha! Just drop the posturing already! I know all about your companions! When you were summoned, I saw all three of them make for the door while you were still working up the courage to even talk to them! S silence Hold your lying tongue or I'll take it from you! I think I've seen all I can take! We'd be doing Rena a favor by beating her as fast as we can! Defeat me? A fine delusion! You'll die regretting that you ever provoked me! battle. I see now the folly of my ways. At least, here at the end of things, my eyes are finally open. Thank you, Guardian. The next time I'm summoned, I'll be brave and call out to my friend. Poor girl. Even if she were summoned again, she wouldn't remember a thing. I think it'd be a lot worse if she did remember. Um, Guardian? I really don't know what to make of what they've been saying. Do you? Oh, come on! What's more touching than coming to an understanding with your defeated foe? Says the one who didn't do any of the defeating. I could definitely had it bad, but I'm sure this was really tough on Rena, too. Transmission from... Enga? Hello! 
Sierra here. To what do we owe the pleasure, Inga? Hey, Sierra. Oh, and you're here too. Perfect. I got some good news, for once. Rina Izumi's been found. Her memories of the whole episode are fuzzy, but she's not hurt. Doing kind of surprisingly well, actually. She wants to talk to the two of you. Mind if I put her through? Oh, of course not. She knows about ARCs already, from what I gather, so that should be fine. I owe you big time, Sierra. Here she is. Uh, um, hello. It's me, Rina Izumi. I just wanted to apologize for everything. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Thank you, Rina. I can't remember what happened all that well. Could you fill me in? I didn't do anything really terrible, did I? Ah, uh, well, terrible is subjective. Do you have a general sense of what happened? Well, somewhat. Just a sense that I said some very revealing, pretty embarrassing things. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, that part's real. Wait, so you do know? Please, tell me! What exactly did I say? With Rena the Forsaken gone, the Guardian's party had bested two apprentice emissaries and reclaimed half of Epic. They marched onward, all too aware that two more of their friends lay ahead of them in wait. What strength would they wield? And more chillingly, what evil had crept over them? The Guardian's fears were twofold as the party pressed on toward the South Fortress. Awaiting them was a fiend so changed as to defy recognition as the friend they had once known. I suppose I ought to compliment you for making it this far. <laughs> this one's an entire world apart from the two we've faced so far! Huh. Don't insult me by naming me in the same breath as those other emissaries. They're mere trainees compared to me. Can you hear the wind singing? It sings the lonesome dirge of your funeral. Now this is just cruel! Can you imagine what Often would say if he saw this? Often? Uh, uh, my head! Wait, look at her! Could it be she's merely being used as a puppet? Gee, I don't know, Maggie. Do we know anyone who maybe wished for that to happen? Oh my, Yukrita! <laughs> Seems like you're struggling just a tad behind all that tough talk! Uh, be quiet! Why in the world are you even here, Apprentice Emissary Aurora the Timid? She's timid? Uh, she Come on now! Is that any way to talk to your fellow Emissary? Yukrita the Obstinate? 
I just thought I'd stop by and give you a hand, since our friends here have probably had just about enough. Are you all just down for anything that falls in your laps? Having me on your side is as good as having a hundred of anyone else. Let's wipe the floor with them, Euclita. Way ahead of you. They tramped the sky up to Aurora. Now she's got a cosmogenic arm? We can dissect how weird this is later. Here she comes. <laughs> no less from the one who took down the two other apprentice emissaries. But I doubt you expected this! <laughs> What's going on? That hurts so much! Is this actually happening? I could have sworn this was just a really weird dream! What are you doing, Aurora? This is absolutely not the time. Get back into weapon form. But that really, really hurt. Wait. Oh, jeez, Euclita. Did you get turned into a dark falls again? Wait. How did Aurora turn back to normal? Could your power have done this? Now try Euclita. What's happening? Where is this? What are we doing here in some fortress? Aurora, what did you do this time? What makes you think I did something? I thought I was just having some weird dream and then all of a sudden I woke up in searing pain. Wait, if this isn't a dream, where? Where could we possibly be? I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you two back to normal. Sierra, is that you? Why are you so small? And what do you mean, back to normal? Was something manipulating us? Oh, right. There's a lot of explaining to do. Wait, so no more fighting? Did we persuade them to join us? Oh, rain on my parade, why don't you? If you're hoping to fight, Maggie, we can certainly oblige. Well, how nice to solve everything without bloodshed for once. And that they're back to their senses. <laughs> what a peaceful resolution. Who's this kid? She looks like an idiot. Excuse me? How dare you impugn my intelligence? And of all things, you dare call me idiot! The name I hate most of all! Wow! Impugn? Look at you, using hard words like a big girl. You watch who you talk down to! Especially when you look barely out of swaddling clothes yourself, you little brat! Oh! You've got some nerve calling the captivatingly, despairingly, inducingly beautiful Aurora a brat! Yeah? Wanna know what it's like to fight a divine queen, brat? Ha! Well, take your divine pride and swallow it! You're in the presence of a goddess of beauty, an actual divine being! <laughs> you dear! The height of disrespect! Your bickering wouldn't be so grating if the two of you weren't just as bad as the other. Look, I think we could all finally use a little explanation. What's going on? Emergency op announcement. We are commencing a counter-offensive against Deus Esca on Earth. All ARCS ops, please report to the quest counter to join the mission.
Hmm. So all four of us former apprentice hosts were summoned here. Everything about this world is a little too hard to believe normally, but after what we've been through, how could we doubt it? Tell me about this arrogant child who summoned the four apprentice vessels. Well, if you asked me before, I would have bet she was pretty strongly connected to Aurora in some way. Or maybe was Aurora herself. An understandable misconception. I was the original apprentice, after all. But it should be pretty clear by now that that's not true. Lest you forget, I don't associate with idiots. Here you go again! How many times do I have to tell you that I am a queen and I command respect? Just can it, dummy! How else are you supposed to tell an idiot they're an idiot? They're too dumb to get it if you sugarcoat it! It's like watching someone fight a mirror. I suppose like repels like sometimes. Maybe they're both connected to Apprentice because they're similar after all. <clears throat> anyway, how are we supposed to get back to the Ark ship? Oh, good question. When we defeated the other two, it released them, and they returned to their original worlds without having to do anything. What? So we have to let them beat us up? I don't know about you, but that's not really my cup of tea. Interesting. Who was that again who once upon a time told me, the more it hurts, the closer I come to salvation? Hush, Yukita! Why doesn't Queen Numskull, who summoned us, do something to send us back? How am I supposed to know how to send you back? I barely even understand how you were brought here in the first place. You might not want to use your stupidity as a defense. Uh, all right, you two. Let's settle down. If you were brought here using a summoning circle, we should be able to use the same circle to send you back. Then we need to go to my palace. Let's get back right away. Oh, and I can finally recall the evacuation order. Peace crept back over Epic at last. As the Guardian loosened the grip that the apprentice emissaries had upon the land. In advance of her triumphant return, Divine Queen Margareta called off the evacuation of her people. The people began to return in droves to the capital upon the oasis. The Guardian's party approached the seat of Margareta's power, following a wave of returners. Finally, they arrived at the city, pulsing with life and heat in the heart of the desert. in just a few days. Oh, my crops are done for. Damn it. It feels like this place wants us to suffer. Yeah, yeah, quit whining. How are we supposed to test our faith if we don't suffer? Does the queen usually get ignored, Maggie? Oh, this is fine. Why should I be upset that they're working so intently they don't even notice me? That just means they're getting back to their everyday life. Whoa, whoa! Little Margareta, I almost tripped right over you. Sure you're getting enough to eat? Well, not that I can raise anything bigger than you. Look what poor little dead crops I came back to after that evacuation. <laughs> Looks like you made our god angry trying to raise them too big. Grow some nice plain ones so you'll have plenty to give the tax collector. Well now, Lady Margareta. Back to stick your fingers in more pies, are you? 
Too right I am! And I'll keep coming back to give you a divine scolding if you don't show a little more respect! Hey! It's Queen Margareta! Quick, you better run or she's gonna point the finger at you next! <laughs> There's no use running! I've already pointed at you a million times! But I moved too fast for you to see! And there she goes! Competing with children! Look at how they all tease her! Is she really the queen of these parts? I suspect this is just Lady Margareta's way of connecting with our people. You can see that they're all working so hard. But they all have such bright looks in their eyes. <laughs> Not a single downcast face. Good grief! You'd never know this was the seat of royal power with all this disrespect! Looks like a tax hike is in order! That's enough of my time wasted here anyway. Let's move on to my palace! May I ask you something, Lady Margareta? Do you love this land? Oh, I can't stand it! She didn't even blink! The crops never come in right, it's dry as a bone and hot as an oven, the wind won't give you a break. Need I go on? But, well, I am the queen after all. I can call it the pits all I like, but it's still my country. It's a part of me. Not to mention, you can't just sit back and watch people treat your property like a toy, can you? After all, I'm the Divine Queen! Epic is no one's toy but mine! Hey, we resent that, Lady Margareta! This land belongs to our god, and to we, the people! Quit eavesdropping, peasant! If I say it's mine, it's mine! Less yapping, more bootstrapping! Well, you certainly did make it into your toy. Which is exactly how you ended up summoning those four and wrecking the place. <laughs> Enough of your needling! The people of Epic aren't so weak as to break over a trifling thing like this! Lest you forget, you're at the heart of the realm at the edge of grace, in the city of the strong of will! There's no changing the past! I put it behind me! So what's left but to hold my head high and smile? It's a ruler's job to be proud. If I smile, then so will my people. Compared to Cuento, this castle certainly has, well, character? Unlike the good people of Cuento, we don't have the materials to waste on building a plush palace like that. After it became my turn on the throne, I had a bunch of people with absolutely nothing to do build this. Show a little respect! Welcome back, Your Holiness Queen Margareta. At long last. Wait, aren't you... How, if I may humbly ask, did Your Holiness enjoy the diversions I so painstakingly arranged? I confess, I did not expect Your Holiness would so quickly seek aid of Quento. Much less that Quento would oblige. Could you forget your own priest? The one who taught you the art of conjuration to begin with! Ha! <laughs> I thought so. That Your Holiness talk never sat right on your tongue, did it? Let me tell you, your cover leaves much to be desired. How moronic. You really thought I forgot you? Do you think gods are known for letting betrayers off lightly? All I've forgotten is your name. <laughs> It's impossible to tell when you're being cunning and when you're just being idiotic. Though, to be honest, <laughs> that only adds to the fun. It's you! The one from Waylon! And? Why did you come back? To wave the white flag? Oh, hardly. Just here to do my best to stave off an anticlimax. In other words, you plan to keep up your evil tricks right here in the palace of the Divine Queen Margareta. You must have 
forgotten that here in this place, I can do absolutely anything I want. <laughs> I, Margareta of Epic, hereby command you to die. The divine might of epic. The power of miracles given shape and passed down for generations. Unfortunately, we can only use it here. And honestly, it's kind of gross and I hate it. So you could have been safe all along if you just stayed here? What good is it if I'm safe when the rest of my country is in danger? Anyway, let's get you two on your way back. Now that they're here, all we have to do is send them back the way they came. Uh, yes. That should do it. All right, you two. Step on up. Oh, don't worry. I can't do that thing again unless you start blaspheming. All right, then. Time to get started. Now you've done it, you imbecile! Wh what's happening? Is that ephemera? You let your guard down, Divine Queen Margareta. I told you I was here to prevent an anti-climax. You killing me was the last step that was needed. Now I can take over this place. All that's left is to offer your body to your own god. To become a vessel for these factors. <laughs> Damn it! I can't! <laughs> Fine! You leave me no choice! You two, go back where you came from! I'm... I'm disappearing. Wait one second, Queen Numbskull. Don't worry about us. Worry about your own stupid hide, idiot. Show some respect if you don't want to die. It's my duty as queen to send you back. Now stop dragging your feet and go! Lady Margareta! Queen of Quinto, you can't help me! It's too late for anyone to stop this now! I'm going to give in, just for a little while. Guardian, it'll be up to you to save me. What story could be more heroic than that? It's a little late to be thinking of stories. Quiet, fairy! Can't you let a poor, terrified queen have her one little moment of bravado? Look! I don't know what this thing will do to me if I try and fight it. So I'll give in. But only if you promise you'll save me! Please! Well now, what a pleasant change. At last, a slightly more grown body. The type of vessel I've sought for so long. There's no doubt about it! The signals match perfectly! It's Dark Falls Apprentice! Oh my! Look at this delightful little set of toys just waiting for my arrival. I don't suppose you're here to help me break in this magnificent vessel I've waited so long for. Wait! I'm getting Apprentice's readings, but her stats are something else altogether. If we're up against Apprentice with every ounce of Maggie's miracle powers, I'm not too sure about our odds. Well said, Guardian. We must save Lady Margareta.
trade barbs with a mere vessel. Learn your place. My place is the throne of Epic! Is this really what I'm like now? Am I this thick gold? You just keep your trap shut and get ready for the Guardian to stomp you right into the floor! For the world, for my people, for my country, for our god, and above all, for my own sake! Wow! I guess only Maggie could get possessed and still be able to throw fits like this. Obviously! Who do you think you're dealing with? Margareta, the Divine Queen! No one gets away with wielding our god's power and toying with our country! No one but me, that is! All that aside, I refuse to accept that this is how awful my fashion sense will be from now on! Hurry up and get her, Guardian! Smash her into tiny bits! I know I do! Are you quite done pretending like I'm not here? to you. All of this comes from Ephemera. Let it find the vessel it seeks in me! Exactly what you're going to look like in a few years. 
So you better sear the image into your eyes now! Stop that at once! How disrespectful! You've got no sense of fashion, you're arrogant, and you're disrespectful! You're beyond all help! You're right. We can settle this another time. I am Dark Falls Apprentice. I am what this girl could have become. I am who she would be if she remained an apprentice vessel and did anything and everything she wished. I would have already vanished when I lost my vessel, and you cut me down except... Well, what was I supposed to do? You may be the queen of overdoing it, but you're still... And yet, I just can't really accept the idea of being a host until I fade away. Indeed. The idea of simply being used is far from what I prefer. Oh, Margareta, in case this hasn't crossed your mind, were I to return to inhabiting your body, I would regain control as before. <laughs> I should go from being black to being white. She can go with you? Is that something you can even do, Guardian? To be frank, I don't believe that idea sits well with the two of us either. There's something about you that goes beyond just unusual. Like that girl back in the palace. What granted you these abilities? I suppose we haven't much choice. Time for you to hurry back where you came from, Margareta. If you don't get moving, your body and soul could become unglued forever, and you'd have nowhere to go. Before I go, just answer me this one question. What's on your mind? What is it you think I still need? Who's to say? You'll have to decipher that yourself, little one. What? Don't delude yourself into thinking I'm worried about her. I have my own goal in mind. To find the villain who tried to use me and crush him into dust. All that mattered to me was which would be more effective, taking over that young girl's body or working with you. Read nothing else into it. <sighs> What's your mouth? You do remember who you're speaking to, don't you? We don't need to get along. We only need to take my power with your body and put them together so we get what we want. Nothing more. You understand, I take it? Ugh! I grow weary of this chatter! You two, get back where you belong! like she's gone back to normal, but the other people who've been possessed, well... Yes. I remember vividly how the light enveloped Luther and took him away. I knew it! Lady Margareta! No! You can't just leave us behind like this! Just talk to us one more time! Show us the arrogant Maggie we know! Huh? 
Whoa! Oh, wait a second! Are you going to breathe life back into her? Is that something you can even do? Choke on us. After all, it meant we got to see you again, Lady Margareta. Oh! Oh, I see. Ah, uh, now you threw me off kilter. Well, I guess I could try some more cleanly behavior. Gods are only gods if you respect and have faith in them, after all. Guardian. Lady Sierra, Lady Harriet, Queen of Coento. In Epic's time of need, you three non-believers shed blood and sweat for us, like our God's own messengers. You have my deepest, truest thanks. See? I can hold a royal court with the best of them! Wow. Well, that little coda just now certainly reminds me you're still you, Maggie. Explain that remark, Fairy! It means most of the time you act like there's not a royal bone in your body. You take that back! Well... <laughs> I knew anything at all could happen when I went diving in there. But it's odd. I don't feel the least bit out of sorts. In fact, I think I feel fine. I'm more concerned about where that shadow that overtook Lady Margareta has gone. All I can say is I don't feel it anywhere nearby. But as strong as it is, I'm sure it's going to reform somewhere else. I've still got a bad feeling about where this is going. I need to heighten my guard. Ah, so much to do. Look at me, right back to work the moment I get home. Aha, I almost forgot. After all we've been through together, I'm sure you'd both like to help. Guardian and Queen Harriet. Yes, 